All right, now I am going to define the subgame formally. Um, so take any extensive form game, all right, and then take any history H, which is non-terminal, meaning the game is not yet over. We well, if the, if if it is a terminal history, there's there's no uh, continuation. All right, basically we are defining uh, what's called continuation game. All right, I should maybe write it here: continuation game. Um, and continuation strategies, continuation payoffs. We will later use this a lot. All right, we say this game. All right, and the set of players are uh, restricted or sort of became consistent with history age. Same for the histories, player functions, everything. All right. Basically, we are going to call this continuation game or a sub game of the game itself. If the following three properties hold, what are those three properties? One, well, the age, the history age, uh, is going to lead to some information set, right? Well, this information set must be singleton, meaning a subgame must start with a single decision note, all right? So consider this game, player one moves A, B, C, and then here player, well, after A, the game is over, after B, player two moves X, Y, if it is X, the game is over. And if player one moves C, then player two moves W, Z. W ends the game, Z continues. Here, there's an information set. Let's say this is player three. Cannot distinguish whether player two uh, played Y or, uh, I'm sorry, uh, player three can distinguish player two's actions, all right? What he can't distinguish is whether player one has played B or C, okay? Um, so, for example, in this game, uh, the information, I'm sorry, a subgame uh, cannot start from this uh, history, BY. Why is that? Well, because BY ends up in an information set which is not singleton. It may, however, start C, or it may start with B, maybe, according to this constraint. But there are two more. But the important thing is the H that uh, we are constructing a continuation game subgame, the H is going to end up to an information set, but this information set must have one and only one uh, uh, element in it, so singleton. Well, what else? It must contain, uh, it must contain every history that follows H. All right, well, that's sort of the definition of H slash H, right? But what does that mean? That means if you have a history, H prime, where this history is H comma H double prime, all right? Meaning after history H, you know, some things happen, which is called H double prime. And so this combination is a history. Well, then you know what? H prime must be in the set. Again, it's like, this is the description of HN, I mean, H slash H. You cannot ignore any uh, history in this set, okay? So remember the, 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 the description of this set. And then the third important property is the following. Uh, if some history is in this uh, set of histories, in this subgame, well, then you know what? All the other histories in the same information set with H prime must also be in in the in in the uh, in the histories of this uh, subgame, which means if it contains a node in an information set, it must contain all the nodes in that info set. All right. So, for example, again, let's come back to this uh, simple example. Uh, my age, can it be, for example, B? Well, it can't be. Why? Well, because if H is equal to B, all right, well, then what happens, for example, uh, one continuation, uh, rem remember, it has to contain all the histories uh, which will follow B, meaning it has to include BY, BY blah blah, all right? But at least it has to include BY. But the problem is, 
if by according to third condition, if by is in this set, well then, uh, you know, cz it must also be in this set, okay? Uh, but it can't be because cz is not in this set because it does not follow b, history b. You see what I mean? So therefore, you cannot create a subgame after a history b. Well, similarly, you cannot create a subgame after history C. Why? Well, once again, because if history is the C, all the following histories, all the histories that follow C must be there, okay? And in fact, that should be the only histories in there. So that means CZ is also uh, in, in the set. CZ and continuation, whatever uh, the rest of the uh, actions or histories are. But the thing is, uh, because it is also in the same info set with BY, BY must also be in the same info set, but BY cannot be in this set because it is not a, a continuation. I'm sorry, it, uh, it is not a continuation of uh, history C. Well, so you got the idea probably if this is the game. So let's suppose player three makes a move and then the game is over. So if you look at this game, obviously BX cannot create a subgame because again uh, the subgame can start only with non-terminal histories same goes for a same go get, go goes for cw so what does that mean in this very simple example we can create just one subgame which is the game itself right meaning h is an empty set well every game is a subgame of itself and h is equal to the empty set, the initial node. However, it's not really interesting, so we don't really call it subgame. So we sort of create a new terminology. Uh, we say, what about proper subgames? Well, proper subgames are subgames which follows histories that are other than the null history, which means in this game, Again, player three makes a move and then the game is over, all right? Maybe if you continue a game, uh, maybe in the future there might be, sorry, some sub games, but if the game over after the third player's actions, it means this game doesn't have a proper sub game, okay? 